Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. They are politicizing it. We did one of the great jobs, you say, how's President Trump doing? They go, oh, not good, not good. They have no clue. They don't have any clue. They can't even count their votes in Iowa. They can't even count. No, they can't. And this is their new hoax. But, you know, we did something that's been pretty amazing. We have 15 people in this massive country. And because of the fact that we went early, we went early, we could have had a lot more than that. We will do everything in our power to keep the infection and those carrying the infection from entering our country. We have no choice. Whether it's the virus that we're talking about or many other public health threats, the Democrat policy of open borders is a direct threat to the health and well-being of all Americans. Now, you see it with the coronavirus. You see it. I also created a White House virus task force. It's a big thing, a virus task force. I requested $2.5 billion to ensure we have the resources we need. And so far, we have lost nobody to coronavirus in the United States. Nobody. And it doesn't mean we won't. And we are totally prepared. It doesn't mean we won't. But think of it. You hear 35 and 40,000 people, and we've lost nobody. And you wonder, the press is in hysteria mode. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. Now, the virus that we're talking about having to do, you know, a lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat, as the heat comes in. Uh, typically, that will go away in April. We're in great shape, though. You treat this like a flu. The risk to the American people remains very low. You don't want to see panic, because there's no reason to be panicked about it. There's 15 people, mm -hmm. out of billions of people, mm -hmm. yeah. 15 people, yeah. they're getting better. Mm -hmm. And soon, they're all going to be better. Hopefully, it's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Now, the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. And this is their new hoax. So healthy people, if you're healthy, uh, you will probably uh, go through a process and, and you'll be fine. You take a, a solid flu vaccine, you don't think that would have an impact or much of an impact on corona? No. Probably not. President, is it safe or appropriate to be holding rallies during a public health crisis like this? Uh, I think it's very safe, yeah. I think it's very safe. Things are going very well, as you see. Do you believe it's inevitable that the coronavirus will spread across the country? No, I don't think that's inevitable at all. We have right. a report today, the global death rate at 3.4 percent. Well, I think the 3.4 percent is really a false number. Now, this is just my hunch. Personally, I would say the number is way under 1 percent. This will go and this will pass because a lot of people will have this and it's very mild. Uh, they'll get better very rapidly. They don't even see a doctor. They don't even call a doctor. You never hear about those people. At this moment, we think we have it very much in hand. Some people will have this at a very light level and won't even go to a doctor or a hospital. They'll get better. There are many people like that. So it's going to all work out. Everybody has to be calm. It's all going to work out. It will end. People have to remain calm. Most of those people are going to be fine. A vast majority going to be fine. All I say is be calm. We have the greatest people in the world. Everyone's relying on us. The world is relying on us. They've done an incredible job in a very condensed period of time. The thing is, you never really know when something like this is going to strike and what it's going to be. This is different than something else. This is a very different thing than something else. Be calm. It's really working out, and a lot of good things are going to happen. What do you say to Americans who are concerned that you're not taking this seriously enough? Some of your statements don't match what your health experts are saying. That's CNN, fake news.